So the final thing we should do here is to, to add some visual flair to the game, in particular uh, some nice pickup effect when we collect the coins and also blood and gore when we die. Uh, starting with the, the coin pickup effect is uh, we open up the particle effect, uh, we create new stuff. I forgot to say this in the beginning, but, but just you can right click on the folder and just create a new whatever we need, like a particle effects file or a game on this file or whatever we need. Uh, a particle effect is one or many emitters that emits particles um, and you can also add modifiers to them. Uh, an emitter is just a, it's, it's something that emits particles and we can specify what image those particles should be. It could be a flipbook animation. Uh, we can set material, we can set the blend mode, we can set the particle count, different types of emitters and how they should be oriented, spawn, spawn rate and a lot of stuff here. Looking at this, let's zoom in a bit. This is the effect as it looks right now and we can see that there is also this radial that we can, that affects the, there are different types of uh, of modifiers that we can add if we want to, like for drag and vortex and, and so forth, to create really cool effects. Uh, so that's the coin particle effect. There is also death particle effects that is very similar. That just sorry, it's just a, some blood splatter. Uh, and running the game, uh, we see now that. So when we pick up the coins, we get some nice animation, some nice particle effects, and when we die, it's, it's, there is some blood splatter. One nice thing with with, um, with the hot reload feature is that you can actually edit these things in while having the game running. So I can, oh, sorry, I can, for example, move this guy and do a hot reload. And now, uh, if I pick these guys up, I will, they will move differently. They will go up as well. Yeah. So, so that's very convenient for tweaking effects in game to see immediately how, how that effect how that effect will look in the game. And this also works on device if you have a the game running on, on an iPhone or an Android device, for example, uh, you can have the game running and also do hot reloading uh, and see exactly how it looks. Uh, and tweak stuff. Uh, there are uh, a lot of things that you can do with particles, and, and here is you have this. Uh, so here the curve editor. You can use that to. Uh, first of all, we have all the uh, lots lots of uh, parameters here that that change during the lifetime of, of the particle, and we can also we can also make make sure that it uh, it, it becomes tied to curve, which helps us create some interesting effects. For example, if we take the scale of the object and just goes from, let's add some points here, goes up to two maybe, and then goes down a bit and then up again. So it will flicker between different sizes. Let's do something like that perhaps. It doesn't look that interesting right now it's a little bit hard to see here but if we hot reload this oh i died i have to restart sorry uh, we can it's possible to add code for what, what the game should do when you hot reload so you can reset state and all that you see that it becomes a little bit sparkly here because we we have just added that, that animation to the to the um, uh, scale of those particles. So there's a it's a pretty powerful editor. It's simple to work with and very visual and, and um, tied to the hot reload it's, it's super good for especially for games. So uh, what's left to do? Uh, handle uh, some kind of reset and maybe main menu um, maybe some level Level difficulties, perhaps a little bit more variation in the in what kind of platforms you see, maybe different themes for the background and all that. But all of that, and also sound, of course. But all that I leave to 
you guys to solve. Uh, we only provide the tools. Right, thank you for tuning in. Have a nice day.